Next, we'll talk about exploring data. After this video, you will be able to explain the importance of exploring data and identify methods to perform preliminary analysis of your data. After you've put together the data that you need for your application, you might be tempted to immediately build models to analyze the data. We must resist this temptation. The first step after getting your data is to explore it, as exploring data is a big part of the two-step data preparation activity. You want to do some preliminary investigation in order to gain a better understanding of the specific characteristics of your data. In this step, you'll be looking for things like correlations, general trends, outliers, and without this step, you will not be able to use the data effectively. Correlation graphs can be used to explore the dependencies between different variables in the data. General trends show you a simple graph of how the data is progressing over time. And outliers show you the data points that are distant from other data points. Plotting outliers will help you double check for errors in the data due to measurement. In some cases, outliers that are not errors might make you find a rare event. Additionally, Summary statistics provide numerical values to describe your data. Summary statistics are quantities that capture various characteristics of a set of values with a single number or a small set of numbers. Some basic summary statistics that you should compute for your data set are mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation. Mean and median are measures of the location of a specific values. Mode is the value that occurs most frequently in your data set. And range and standard deviation are measures of spread in your data. Looking at these measures will give you an idea of the nature of your data. They can tell you if there is something wrong with your data. For example, if the range of the values for age in your data includes negative numbers or a number much greater than 100, there's something suspicious in the data that needs to be examined. Python gives you functions and methods that we can quickly explore the data and provide these statistics. We'll be hearing all about those by the end of this course. Visualization techniques also provide quick and effective, overall, a very useful way to look at data in this preliminary analysis step. A heat map, for instance, such as the shown, one shown here, can quickly give you an idea where the hotspots are. Many different types of graphs can be used. Histograms show the distribution of the data and can show skewness or unusual dispersion. Box plots are another type of plot for showing data distribution. Line graphs are useful for seeing how values in your data change over time. Spikes in the data are also easy to spot. Scatter plots can show correlation between two variables. Overall, there are many types of graphs to visualize data. They are very useful in helping you understand the data you have. Looking ahead, we'll actually spend the better part of a week just focused on effective ways to visualize data. In summary, what you get by exploring data is a better understanding of the complexity of the data you have to work with. This, in turn, will guide the rest of the process.